Hi guys, um, it's Linda here, and I have something to say about the Empires, this number game some people use, and a few other things, and this is just a Native American perspective. Now, in my life, really a birthday is nothing more than I'm just going, I don't acknowledge my birthday, I'm going through another season of my life, that's just it. It's more like a season, like like the Earth goes through seasons and cycles and and things. Um, so, actually, the my birth date would be the day I was conceived. So I really don't actually know that day. And the rest of my days of how long I've been alive would be on a lunar calendar, not like this uh, Rome Roman calendar, the Gregorian calendar. I guess it's called. So, like I said, it's a native perspective view. Now, I see a lot of people putting focuses on threes and sevens and elevens and all these things, but um, sun's up, sun's down. That's Indian time. Okay, we're going into the harvest season, which will, we're harvesting stuff. That means it'll, the winters will be colder if you're Native American. I mean, you know, we'll have the harvest, the autumn season, the autumn equinox has already is. Is it today or tomorrow? Um, and 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 that's the way we looked at cycles. Hey, we didn't use days or numbers for these things. It was more of a star and seasonal looking thing. Now, <clears throat> for some of you people, and, and there's a lot of you, and please do not take any disrespect. I know a lot of you are Christians or some other religion, which I, I don't care what you do as long as you treat humanity, everyone, with respect. No matter what their religion is, because um, I believe a lot of things have been taken out of context. But isn't in the Bible, aren't there numbers like chapter 3, verse 11? I, I just was thinking, you know, everybody puts so much emphasis on like 9, 11, or 3s and stuff. Well, isn't there in 3, 2, 2, and isn't there things in, in that Bible or the books that you read that have chapter 3, verse Two or verse 22 and, and maybe you guys should go read some of that stuff I mean, I don't read the Bible I wouldn't know but I, these numbers mean absolutely nothing to me because I put no power into them is what I'm saying and now I'm not trying to offend nobody or even play ignorant here because I wanted to get into this comment I saw and now I went and looked and I know how I was taught <clears throat> and it's not a belief system because I can have someone tell me what to believe, but until I experience it, I really don't have the knowledge, if you understand, and that's kind of the way Indians go. Now, the elders do try to teach what they have experienced to their young, but also you have to experience it yourself, and there are some things they do to to let you experience it, um, and I have been through that process, and I've even been to some very sacred ceremonies where I got to experience it. As far as anything coming from our beautiful universe to Earth, if it comes, it comes. Um, I don't think that it has any um, intelligence about it, nor is it judging us. Or um, I just don't think that it is, and people can debate me on that all day. If it hits us, it just means our time has ended here, and if those who survive survive this then that means you better create a better humanity and um, get rid of the empire system because it, it is not a mistake that the empire system is here I, I will say that um, a lot of people have tried to fight the empire system and somehow or another at one point or another when they were almost defeated and they have been defeated if you go way back there, there have been points where they they are defeated, but somehow or another, someone wants to control again. Um, and maybe this isn't in your mainstream history, but you have to look beyond that. I'd even say go look at some maps, some ancient maps. You'd be amazed. Um, some people have, I, I think some people think I'm ignorant on this stuff. No, I have been brought up in two worlds. It is like walking into two separate worlds, and I prefer the Native American way of life because this is a living planet we're on. 
Now, do I think that this comet Ison is going to affect us? Well, maybe. I hope it's a very good show. If it hits Earth, I'm going to be sitting in a lawn chair watching it every evening or in the daytime if weather permits, or I'll be in my house if weather doesn't permit. And if the end comes, it comes. I don't fear death. I'm going to die eventually. What happens to me after that is between me and my Creator and how I've lived. So I'm not preparing for anything. I've always been a um, I'm not going to use the word prepper. I've always prepared for humanity. You you feed the hungry when they're hungry. You never use food as a weapon or water as a weapon. And these wars and this empire system is wrong. And I actually think people ought to focus on defeating the empires. Now, what kind of system we would come up with, I don't know. I don't think anybody would look at the Native Americans and say, let's follow what they do. I just don't think people would because... In, in your, what you've been taught in school has, it's in your subconscious there, so you wouldn't. So we would have to change everything, but it would have to be a more holistic society and not an empire-based. Then that would mean you can't say, look, I, I, see, I, have, I, I subscribe to a lot of people, and I see, look, Sharia law is coming. Well, you know, I've heard this since they've used, you know, the, the Muslims and the Islamic peoples or their faith against us, this was coming. I've heard it about all kinds of things. Go to Indian Reservation. They can tell you all kinds of things. They're more scared of the empires and what they've done to humanity and how they've divided everyone. And they do divide, and that's the biggest thing. Don't let them divide you. Don't let this comet even be a distraction. Let it be what it is. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do. If you think it is an intelligent planet coming or an alien, it is what it is. We'll deal with it when the time comes. Stop putting your power into that. You're giving those people in the empire system a way to distract you. Stop doing that. Focus more on the empire system. Look and read and see what they're doing while all these other things are distractions. I mean, really... If, if you want to know something, and, and this is only because I had an Iranian neighbor when I was growing up, believe it or not, um, they said some of the best and oldest stuff is in Iran that you could ever see. They hated leaving. The lady hated leaving. She was older. Their country, like, you know, we talked about, believe it or not, the Sumerian texts that are there that no one can get their hands on, yet everyone says they have. Um, there are so many things in Iran, and I think they just want to destroy something that maybe, you know, would be knowledge, or maybe it isn't. Maybe it was just an empire system. I don't know. I think they like to destroy and, and manufacture things, too. Um, I, I've seen what they, everybody thinks that Indians lived in teepees, so, <clears throat> you know, I can see where they would distort the truth, because every person I've met face to face wants to know if I have a teepee. Well, I'm going to have to tell you, there were teepees. Indians did use them mainly when they were on the run. Um, not a lot of nations lived out of teepees. They were kind of like your camping equipment, you know, now like homeless people living in tents. They're going to look down in history and what are they going to call these things? The tent people, you know, these, these were a, a group of people who lived in tents. So your teepees were used, yes, to get from place to place, but then you built a place to live. I'm from a very long house. Um, they had long houses, the tribe I was in. So, I mean, they actually had, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? They weren't as primitive as people think. And yes, a teepee would be, you know, when you had to move from the the oncoming invaders. Yeah. And also when the hunters went out, they did use these. Okay? Think of it as camping equipment in a way. Some nations did use them, but you, not many. I mean, it was more like your, you know, your prepared camping equipment until everyone had to use it because they had no place to live because... They were discovered, or something, to that effect, <laughs> you know. Or, I mean, I don't know what to say, but stop putting things into numbers because you're not even following the proper, natural, holistic calendar to begin with. So you can't use those numbers. If you do use those numbers, you're giving the empire the power they want. So stop using them. Seriously. 
I mean, I have to use the white man's number some days, like today. I have to use it because I have to go in the white man's world, and I hate it. Because usually, and Joy will tell you too, it is, wait, what is it? Indian time is? Sun's up, sun's down, and we don't care about the numbers, but the empires do, so we yeah. humor them. Yeah, but don't focus on the numbers. Stop doing this. Focus on each other and how we can help one another. And when crises do come, and they will come, there's always been natural catastrophes throughout history. Um, help one another. Be there to help one another. So I wanted to just say that because I see a lot of people thinking that ISON's this, that. I really put no intelligence into ISON because if, you know, I don't think something intelligent would come, oh, you know, if it is, then it's coming to destroy us all or something intelligent coming to, I even heard that this is a rapture. I also heard there was a rapture last year. I actually didn't know what a rapture was. And now it's kind of funny if you've never known and you look back and find out what this means. To me, it's almost, it's a giggle and I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of people. But you have to understand my perspective. I'm not going to be raptured. I really don't want to be raptured. Um, there's some people that have been so focused on hate that think they're going to be raptured. I don't want to be around them. They don't like humanity. Um, so I would prefer to stay here and go where I know, you know, where I believe and I was taught and I've actually experienced it through having where I was considered dead twice. Twice I was considered dead. Um, so my experience on that was not like other people's either. So sometimes I think that's a psyop. But anyway, I love you guys all. I just want you to focus more on let's just conquer the empires. Don't worry about any distractions. If it happens, it is what it is. And then you move on to where you're supposed to go to next. That is how it is. But I think our job here is to keep this living earth alive, protect it from the empire strip mining it, and to help one another and not be divided. We are all connected. And I love you all. Peace, love, truth. And I'm out of here. Wish us luck in this white man's world today.